Okay, uh, welcome back to part two of how to use Viacom Pro with SRS or Simple Radio Standalone. Okay, so last time we looked at using Broadcast Parallel, which is the most common use case. Um, but now we're going to have a look at TX Link. So a couple of things to do to start with. Let's make sure in our multiplayer tab here we have Use with Multiplayer selected and we have SRS integration selected, SRS PTT mapping selected, and now we have to change from Broadcast Parallel to TX Link. Now there's two options with TX Link, so let's move it down to TX Link. Uh, we have multiplayer only. Um, so if we select that, it means when we're playing a single player mission, it'll be just Broadcast Parallel because it doesn't matter because you're not going out on SRS, um, or you can use the TX Link function all the time with the short press routine to start listening and another short press to suspend listening. Uh, it's probably better to leave it um, like that because you get used to, from a muscle memory point of view, pressing the switches in a certain way. And if you're switching when you're single player or switching when you're multiplayer, inevitably you're gonna find it difficult. So I'd probably leave that off unless you're uh, a hard thinker and you can handle both ways of doing it and switch seamlessly between the two. So I'll leave it off at the moment with TX Link. Now, unfortunately, um, that is not all we have to do. And I'll be straight up, it's not straightforward to configure for TX Link because we have some other settings to do. So let's confirm our settings in here. In uh, uh, SRS are configured the way we need them. So, uh, the first one to make sure, obviously, is we need to use the Allow Viacom TX Inhibit. So that is on, and that's what we need. And just to check, um, Radio Switch Works as PTT, it should be on, and Allow In Cockpit DCS Control PTT should be off. Now that's configured as we need it, and we need to go now and start configuring our TX nodes. So they're located in your profile. So we open the profile editor and then we go down to push to talk section and we find the press and release for each TX node. So we need to change these for each TX node. We intend to use um, TX link. So if we come in here and open up push to talk one and look at our joystick configuration here we can see that it normally would look like that with nothing selected and that's for use as broadcast parallel. But for TX Link, we have to select shortcut as invoked when long pressed and then invoke also on short standard press advanced. So we need to select both of those, click OK, OK again. Now, as we know, each TX press has a release and we need to configure that. So if we come in here, and look at the joystick again, we should see it looks like that for broadcast parallel. Shortcut is invoked only when all buttons are released, which makes sense because that's the release. But in this case, we also want it to release when we're long pressing. So we're not talking to Viacom, we're only talking on SRS. So we click that one and that's all we need. So shortcuts invoke when long pressed, do not add this one here. Short, standard, advanced, not needed. This is for the release case. Click OK, OK again. Now you need to do that for each TX node you intend to use TX Link on. Um, obviously with the interphone on TX5, there's no need to do it. I don't use it on TX3 because uh, the only TX3 option I use is in the Hornet using mids and I'm talking to other players, so I don't need TX Link configured. I'm just broadcasting on the mids um, to SRS. So there we go, that's configured. Unfortunately, that's not it. We need to go into our options in voice attack itself. And where we are looking to is hotkeys. And we need to come in here and where it says uh, joystick button long press threshold, we need to change this because 700 milliseconds is quite a long time to hold it to um, enter the long press. So we need to make that a bit shorter. Uh, the Viacom Pro manual says 100 milliseconds. Um, that's what was recommended when it was first designed. I find that's too short for me. That really short press of the button, uh, maybe my fingers just aren't that quick because I'm getting old. But 
um, I find 200 milliseconds works for me for TX Link. Um, you can play around with this, find one that works for you, and you get a reliable short press listening state start and listening state suspend. Um, so do it for all the long presses because um, you've got TX Link. So anything that's got long press thresholds, change them all to what works for you. In my case, it's 200. And OK. Right, we are now configured to use TX Link in game. So let's jump in the cockpit and see how it works. Okay, here we are in the cockpit, uh, F-18C, Bagram Air Base, and we are on ground power um, just so we can test the radios. Uh, so I currently have COM1, channel 1 is 325.75, and that is Bagram Ground and Tower for the AI in DCS, and then on COM2, channel 9, I have 250.5, which is uh, our trusty Overlord bot. So what will happen for TX link mode? A short tap forward will activate the listing and then we can issue the command to Bayacom. Nothing will go out on SRS and then as soon as the command is detected it will automatically suspend listening. You don't have to tap the PTT again. Um, if it doesn't you can issue the command again and then it will suspend or if you just want to cancel the listing you tap it one more time to suspend listening. So let's have a go at doing that with a short tap. Request startup. Request startup. Uzi 1, cleared for startup. Wind 138 at 2 meters per second. Okay, listing automatically suspended. Um, my button press was a little bit too slow the first time, um, so I pressed it a little bit quicker the second time. And now for Overlord, we'll just try on COM2 and it'll have to be a long press to go out on SRS because they're an SRS recipient, so let's try them. Overlord Jury 1-1 radio check. Jury 1-1, Overlord, 5 by 5 Okay, so that's gone broadcasting on SRS. So that's how TX Link works. It's um it's pretty simple. I personally don't use it, I just broadcast parallel. Um but that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.